From keeping strange memorabilia from his grandfather to role models faking relationships with him, these are 15 things you didn't know about the rising star, Connor Bedard. Bellino Bedard! He scores! Number one. When Bedard was five years old, a manager went around the locker room asking the mini Mike hockey players to choose their preferred jersey numbers. Many opted for popular choices like 87 or 97, having been influenced by star hockey players, and the team had to vote and draw names to assign these popular numbers. However, when it was Bedard's turn, he requested the number 98. Surprised, the manager asked what player was 98, to which Bedard confidently responded, I'm 98. It was a number that nobody else had chosen. As a child, Bedard seemed to desire to have his own unique number, which appealed to him greatly, and this preference for a high number was something he found cool and intriguing. What number would you choose if you were a hockey player? 98 was a number no one really had, and you know, I think as a little kid, you kind of want to have your own number maybe, and uh, for me, that was something I found cool, and uh, obviously a high number kind of appealed to me, so I mean, it's, it's stuck with me, obviously, and you know, I like it. Number two, when Bedard was around 12 years old, he suffered a broken wrist while playing in a hockey tournament in Chicago. The injury required about 12 weeks to fully heal, during which time he was unable to use his right hand. Despite this setback, he dedicated himself to practicing shooting backhanders with his left hand. This persistent effort ultimately contributed to developing his impressive shot. He recounted how he would grip the stick with just his top hand while attempting to shoot on the backhand side. Reflecting on this experience, he believed that the more you engage in something, the more it improves. He felt that this practice strengthened his shot and enhanced his overall skills on the ice. Stick around until the end because I'll let you know what Bedard's peculiar superstition with his hockey stick is. Connor Bedard scores! Number three, at 13, Bedard was hailed as the future of hockey by the Hockey News. Drawing comparisons to hockey legends like Sidney Crosby and Connor McDavid, he quickly became a highly sought after prospect with agents already expressing interest in representing him. During this time, Bedard showcased his exceptional skills while playing for the West Van Academy hockey team, and he achieved remarkable feats such as scoring hat tricks in five consecutive games and tallying over 30 goals in just 14 games. But if you think that is impressive, wait until you see how much the Blackhawks earned when they drafted him in 2023. Number four, Connor Bedard's grandfather, Garth Bedard, was one of his biggest supporters. Unfortunately, Garth passed away in a car accident in 2021 while Connor was playing for the WHL's Regina Pats. Just three days after this tragic event, Connor scored both goals in a 2-1 overtime win, and following his game-winning goal, he pointed to the sky in tribute to his late grandfather. At the 2023 NHL Draft, Connor was interviewed by the Hockey Central panel where he shared a poker chip he carried with him to honor his grandfather. He expressed the sentiment of missing his grandfather and mentioned how they enjoyed playing cards together. Connor found solace in having this token with him, feeling his grandfather's presence on such significant occasions, and he concluded by stating his belief that his grandfather was watching over him. Number 5. Bedard made history as the first Western Hockey League player to be granted exceptional play player status by Hockey Canada, allowing him to join the WHL at 15. This distinction placed him among only six previous players who had received such recognition, including notable names like Tavares, Ekblad, and McDavid. Bedard further solidified his reputation in the 2021-22 WHL season by becoming the youngest player ever to score 50 or more goals in a single season. His remarkable stats included 51 goals and 49 assists, totaling 100 points in 62 games. Demonstrating his exceptional talent, Bedard continued to excel in the following season, scoring an astonishing 70 one goals with 72 assists, accumulating a total of 143 points in just 57 games. Number 6. Following the Chicago Blackhawks' victory in the 2023 draft lottery, the team experienced unprecedented season ticket sales. Within the first 12 hours, ticket sales reached an impressive $5.2 million, nearly doubling the team's season ticket base from the previous year. The excitement surrounding the team intensified further when Bedard was drafted as the first overall pick by Chicago in June 2023. His arrival significantly contributed to this buzz. First overall selection in the 2023 NHL Draft, the Chicago Blackhawks are very proud to select from the Regina Pats, the Western Hockey League, Connor Bedard. As his NHL jersey quickly became the top-selling jersey heading into the season, surpassing popular names like Jack Hughes, Brad Marchand, and Sidney Crosby. Later on, you will see what shocking place Connor played hockey. Number 7. At 17, Bedard achieved remarkable success by winning two gold medals at the World Junior Championships in 2023. During the tournament, he distinguished himself by being named the top forward and the MVP. Bedard's performance was spectacular as he led all players with 9 goals and 14 assists, totaling 23 points. His outstanding tally of 23 points in 7 games set a new Canadian record for points in a single tournament. Additionally, his 14 assists established another single tournament Canadian record for assists. Still one of the most memorable moments of Bedard's career for Team Canada came during the tournament when he displayed heroic efforts in overtime, securing a sudden death win over Slovakia. 
This crucial goal sent Canada to the semifinals, marking a significant highlight in Bedard's rising career. Number 8. We are barely a few months into his NHL rookie campaign, and Bedard is already making waves and setting records. With his fourth season goal, Bedard made history as the youngest player in NHL history to score a goal within the first 30 seconds of a game, delivering a precise shot over the goalie's glove. Additionally, Bedard became the youngest NHL player since 1987 to achieve a three-point first period, a feat previously accomplished by Pierre Turgeon. In another milestone, he became the youngest player in Blackhawks history to record a three-point game. Joining the ranks of the NHL's youngest stars, Bedard also secured a spot among the youngest players in league history to achieve a four-point game. As Bedard continues to showcase his talent, we ask, will he follow in the footsteps of the great ones before him? And how far do you think he'll go in his NHL career? Number 9. Bedard gathered attention from a prominent social media influencer named Brecky Hill, who has millions of followers on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Hill posted images of herself wearing a Blackhawks jersey, tagging Bedard and captioning the photo with, Your future hockey wife. Additionally, she shared a video on TikTok in which she playfully portrayed Bedard as her boyfriend. Number 10. As a child, Bedard refused to go on family trips to Disneyland because he wanted to stay home and play hockey instead. His family once convinced him to go to Hawaii, promising he could bring his hockey stick and inline skates. An employee at the airport remarked it was the first time in their 18 years working there that they saw someone bring a hockey stick into Hawaii. That's kind of funny, huh? Make sure to subscribe to not miss any other great hockey videos we upload. Number 11. Bedard used to shoot pucks out on his street while wearing inline skates, but had to move to the backyard after breaking a window. One of his neighbors, a professional carpenter, helped construct a backyard practice area, which included a plywood platform with synthetic ice to shoot from, and a net flanked by a tarp to contain the pucks. Bedard continues to call shooting in his backyard his happy place. Number 12. Bedard has a superstitious belief regarding his hockey stick. He handles it with utmost care, never allowing it to touch the ground, a practice he deems blasphemous. To Bedard, his stick is more than just equipment. It's his trusted companion, his Excalibur, as he believes that the essence of his game is instilled within that stick. Given his impressive performance on the ice, one might ponder if his stick has a mystical element. Element. Another particular ritual when preparing for games is that he always puts on his left skate first, then his right. However, in practice, he does precisely the opposite. Number 13. Connor Bedard has never attended a concert and refrains from indulging in junk food. Despite his age of 18, Bedard exhibits a maturity beyond his years, particularly evident in his dietary choices. So what exactly does Bedard eat on a daily basis? He follows a regimented, rotating diet. On game days, he'll eat chicken, rice, vegetables, shrimp, mashed yams, and salmon. It certainly seems to work for him. At number 14, Connor Bedard currently has an estimated net worth of $1 million. Despite earning less than $100,000 per year while playing for the Regina Pats in the WHL, his financial outlook dramatically improves with his entry-level contract with the Blackhawks. Valued at an average annual rate of $4.45 million, this deal substantially increased his net worth during his first years in the NHL. Additionally, Bedard has secured several lucrative endorsement agreements with major companies, including Lululemon and Sherwood Hockey, further enhancing his financial status. But now let's hear who his mysterious caller was. Finally, number 15. When Connor was granted exceptional player status, he received an unexpected call from an unknown number originating from California. Initially hesitant to answer as it seemed like a random call, he eventually decided to pick up, and to his astonishment, he found himself speaking to none other than the legendary Wayne Gretzky on the other end of the line. Overwhelmed by the encounter, Connor admitted, I was stuttering and couldn't really talk. Despite his shock, he cherished the brief conversation, describing it as one of the cooler things. Although the call was short and consisted mainly of congratulations and well wishes, Connor considered any interaction with Gretzky incredibly special. So what are your thoughts about Connor Bedard? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.